plots and subplots all the way through uh, this fixture this evening. But, uh, Richie, I just wanted to, to reflect for a moment or two on, on the events of, of last night. And, of course, we have the match uh, taking place this evening in Dortmund. Uh, Dortmund 1, Monaco 2 is still the, the latest score in the second half. But just, uh, again, events like that put everything into perspective. As Justin Rose said at the weekend, it's only sport. and uh, But, you know, the, it, it does give us a, a completely different... Um, uh, angle on things when 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 you 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 see and hear about events that that, that we we saw last mm -hmm. night in Dortmund. So, the, the match is taking place this evening. Like, what is your your feeling about all that's happened over the last twenty four hours? Should the match be taking place so soon after what happened? Well, first of all, I think huge praise should go to the Dortmund fans. We've seen them, the way they reacted last night, offering accommodation to the Monaco fans, and so that was tremendous. I, I I was struck actually by how quickly UEFA were able to announce that the, the, the fixture would be postponed and played today. I assume they had uh, they, 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 they were happy that they assessed the, the security threat, they were happy that they had the necessary uh, security things in place to deal with it. I assume that's all in place. Um, there must have been commercial pressures that they were under, the, the tournament timetable that they had to consider as well. Um, I do think and the Dortmund players may come out in time and give detailed interviews about what it was like to go through what they went through and how they were impacted. At this distance, it's impossible for us to say just how much of a disadvantage or how unfair it is on those Dortmund players to be asked to play within 24 hours of what they went through. I understand UEFA's decision to make, to make the game go ahead tonight, but it does seem a little unfair. It would be, it would be unthinkable to think that they were unaffected by it. I'll, I'll say it that way. It's just how traumatic it was for them, how upsetting or how how quickly they can go from where they were last yeah. night psychologically to where you need to be to play a game in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. It's, it's a hell of an ask in a very short period of time. What's your feeling, Dan? Yeah, I was disappointed uh, to see it go ahead, especially so soon after getting mm -hmm. called off last night. For you wait for the call within a half an hour, an hour, to say it's played at 5.45 tonight, I couldn't believe. Uh, if it is what we believe, a terrorist attack, yeah, security might be tight at the ground today, but the welfare of the players like they, they must be affected emotionally and so far in the results that shows they're, they're two one down and they must be trained like it might hit them now but it might hit them in years to come at the end of the day it's a terrorist attack there's three bombs outside the bus's door you know so again I can't believe it's being played uh, for me it's just money's prevail in the end you're trying to tell me you can't call off the game and play it next week I'm not having that so um, UEFA just putting their foot down they haven't talked about the players at all. But Amy, you had the, the, the Dortmund president uh, earlier on, I saw one of his comments on Twitter saying, look, you know, th this is, we, we will not be beaten by uh, yeah. by events like this. We will show them that that's, we will carry on. That was the kind of, the, the gist of what he said. Yeah, well, I mean, they have to say that, you have to say that, but I think what Damien said is right, um, that, and um, I think what Richie said also was right, that it's difficult to calculate the effect. The shock, hits you in a strange way and I think those players one of them injured you know those young team Dortmund again and I think you wouldn't be able to calculate the effect of, of, on those players so I think the lads are right mm. uh, in their concerns um, of course there is an imperative to get the game played because there are other commitments but uh, perhaps the effect, uh, and it's right, players will say, yeah, okay, we're, we're, but they don't, you don't know. Anyone who's suffered shock in their personal uh, life, and we all will or, or have, you know, it kicks in late. But when you, you've got, got to go out and perform, which is a very emotional thing to do, I think it can take a toll you're not aware of. Absolutely, okay. Um, we're going to move on.